Today we're going to be taking a look at the rebuild process for the e-trailer or Ram brand 5,000 pound capacity top wind style jacks. This is a heavy duty steel jack, they work out really, really well. On occasion you might have a bearing, maybe a handle that breaks, something like that. And rather than going through the expense of buying a new jack and having it welded on or, or, or reattached to your trailer, you can simply rebuild the one you've got and save quite a bit of money. We're going to start the rebuild process by removing our handle. You can see we've got just a bolt that's going to pass right through there. A couple of 10 millimeters, we should be able to get that to come right off. Right. Now since this is a brand new jack, we're just going to be showing you the rebuild process, reusing the existing parts in there. But one part is that is available is going to be the handle with bolt. This will be part number TJPB-HD. That'll include your knob, the crank arm itself, the attachment, and the bolt. Now once we have that off, you'll notice there's going to be a, a small washer right here. I'm going to grab that and set it aside. We want to be sure that goes back on top. And then pretty much just going to be a matter of lifting this outside tube off of the inner tube. See once we've done that, we'll have our bearing there, our thrust washer that that rides on, and you can see that's going to give us between our screw as this turns and our outer jack housing that would sit there, that gives us a really nice friction-free area. That bearing does a great job, and you also see it's designed with kind of a cover on top, so where it, the bottom of the bearing is gonna be open, but the top helps shield the water off of. Now for the bearing and for the washer, you wanna use part number TJA-2000S-BR. That'll have the two parts that you need there. And then from that point, you see it's just a real simple mechanism. We've got machine style screw here that's going to force that jack leg down as we turn our handle. So this part, very, very tough to actually mess up. The part we tend to see failure in is going to be either in the bearing or in the handle assembly itself. So we'll put that right back down on there. Now I like to just use a little bit of grease and kind of get it down on here. If you're going to be in here, going to be rebuilding it. It's never going to hurt anything to have just a little bit of extra lubricant there. Make sure we can get some on the top of that bearing. That should just help us out. Now you'll see a small groove in the outer tube and there's going to be a groove that will be the full length of the inner tube there. You want to be sure you line those up as you slide it back together. Let me see. That'll come right out of the top. At that point, you'll want to place your washer back on, the handle back on, and reinstall our bolt. Now, as we tighten our handle down, we don't need to over tighten it. We just want to have it so that clamp comes down and squeezes on that main head of the screw. And at that point, be ready to go. Now, sometimes I don't know, you might run it into something, you might accidentally bump into it or hit it, but sometimes this knob that's on the top will crack or will break. And what they've done is they've kind of spread out the top of our handle here, kind of open that up to hold that in place. What we're going to do is use a half inch drill bit right in the middle of that, and it would be almost like we're grinding out a rivet or drilling out a rivet. And once we've got our old handle out of the way, we'll take our new handle. I'm going to slide that right on. Our washer is going to go on. It's the same one that we removed the first time there. We'll kind of stand it up. We've got the pressure cap that needs to go around the end of it there. And basically, once you knock that on, it's going to squeeze that pin, and that's going to hold your handle in place center our cap up and knock it down on into position.
things like that. We've got our jack right back operational, our new handles in place, ready to do its job. Now these are available in two colors. You've got HDKB-RED for the red, and it's going to be HDKB-BLKF for a black. That's going to complete our rebuild of the top line 5,000 pound ram and e-trailer style jacks. Hope this shows you with just a few simple parts and a few simple tools how you can rebuild your jack rather than buying a new one. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.